everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a content creator, a business owner, or just someone that's looking to stay consistent on social media, then this video is for you. I'm gonna take you on a tour of my very simple content planner system that I use in Notion. It's an all-in-one system that allows you to plan, organize, and create content with ease. I've been a social media manager for a little over three years, and I've worked with dozens of businesses and brands across so many different niches, so I've been able to really narrow down what what's important and what's necessary to have in a content planner that's not going to overwhelm you and it's just going to allow you to get content out every week multiple times per week. What I like about this content planner is that like I said it is really simple it's just one page and it allows you to organize all your short form content and your long form content. So if you have a YouTube channel, podcast, newsletter, you can organize all this on here as well. I created this planner five months ago after I had my son and I found myself all of a sudden very busy and very tired, but I really wanted to be consistent on social media to promote my digital products and to grow my personal brand. So I created this very simple page for myself and it has allowed me to be way more consistent after having a baby than I ever was before. So that's how I know that the system really works. And what I love about Notion too is that you can customize this however you want, tweak things however you want to work best for you and your needs. So with that being said, let's dive on in. All right, so welcome inside my content planner. Now this is a sample planner that has everything already filled out in it. So if you get the template, it's gonna come completely blank. So just so you know. But this is so you can see what it looks like when it's basically filled out. So this is your main page. Like I said, it's really simple. It's just a one pager. And then I have some bonus pages that I'll go over at the end of the video. So just starting off with our top planner here. This is our short form content planner. So this is for your Instagrams, your TikToks, your YouTube shorts. So we have a database on the left. You have a calendar view all the way here on the left hand side so you can click on the calendar and you can see just your monthly calendar view which is kind of nice if you like that or you can go into the table view you can see all months if you click on all so you can see all the months that you have planned or you had previously planned if you click on this all option otherwise what i like is i like to just see the month at hand so if i click on february i can see all the posts that i have planned out for february so just to get yourself started on the table for your own business, what you'll do is you'll first want to go through some of these top options just to set yourself up. So you'll want to click on format, click edit property, and then from here you can change these categories to suit your needs. So if you like only post on TikTok or you want to differentiate between TikToks and carousels or something like that, then you can change these options. You can delete any of them by clicking the arrow and just clicking delete. Or you can add an option by just hitting this plus button and then adding in a new option. Now, if you don't care about organizing the like category of your content, then you can just click on this and hit delete property and you can get rid of this whole entire column. All right, so then moving over, I have the title of the piece of content. So this just helps me understand like what it is when I'm looking to go create the content, like I know what the topic is. So for instance, this, I have how I plan for a productive week. And then over here, you have your content pillars. So you'll want to click on that when you get the template click edit property, and then you can add in your content pillars or your categories of your content. Again, by just clicking the plus button and typing in your category. And then over here, I have a space where you can add in any links to inspiration or links to like audio, trends, whatever kind of you're pulling from if there is inspiration for that specific video, and you can paste in the link there. And then over here, you have the specific month that is correlated with this content, which is gonna help you pull, it's gonna pull that month when you click on each of these months up here. Then finally, over on the right-hand side, you have a space if you wanna add in a caption in advance, and then that way when you're posting, you can just copy and paste, you have a space for your caption here as well. So if you wanted to add a new piece of content, you would click new page, 
then you can po put in the date. So let's just say I want to do February 27th, click out of it. And then I'm going to say this is going to be a reel and a TikTok. So I'm just going to click those two. And then you can type in whatever you want your piece of content to be. So maybe for me, it's going to be my favorite eyeliners. Okay. And then I'm going to click my category. So this would be under my digital planning iPad category. So I'll click that. I don't really have any inspiration for this because I'm just going to create it and figure out the music later on. And then this obviously goes in February and then I can just type in the caption and that's it. Really, really simple. Now what helps me as well is let's say I just have an idea for my content, but I maybe want to add it in at a later month or I just want to have a place to kind of brain dump my content. That's where the short form idea list comes into play. So over here on the right, you just have a running idea list. So if you want to add a new idea, you just click new page and let's just say I want to do Let's just say I wanted to add the favorite iPad apps to my idea list, then you'll just be like that. Now, when I'm creating my content for the month and I want to refer to my idea list and pull from there, I can just look over here and go, oh, okay, yeah, let's do how to create a cozy, productive, and inspiring work from home space. Okay, I'm going to add that into my February plan. And then I want to just remove this from my idea list. I'll just go over here and click the check mark and it'll remove it from my idea list. So then I can just keep moving through my idea list. Okay, so moving on to the long form content planner on the bottom. So like I said, this is for if you have a YouTube channel, newsletter, podcast, anything long form, anything that you want to kind of differentiate from your short form content, you could do that here. If you don't have that, then you can by all means go over here and just delete the header and then delete the database just like that if you don't need it. But basically this is pretty much exactly the same as the short form. We have the calendar view, all the months, and then all the individual months on the top. Then you have your launch date, you have the title, you have your format. So again, if you're organizing your YouTube videos and your newsletters, which I do, then you're going to want to have, you know, differentiate that there. Um, the topic or the content pillar if you will, and then you can set the month. Now, what I forgot to mention for short form that you can also do, you could do for short form and long form, is you can go even deeper into your planning by just clicking open or clicking into this title section, and it's gonna open up a new page where you can plan all of your content within this page. So I'll show you another example here. So for this one, you, I here I can type in my script for the video. I can type in my titles. You can even use Notion AI too to help you with titles, scripts, anything that you want um, in this space here. So this is great for just continuing to plan out the content. Um, I personally like for YouTube. I'll paste in like my script or the format for my YouTube video for my newsletter, and like I let AI. Um, help me come up with thumbnails and titles and all that good stuff. So it just, again, it all in one place for planning. Same thing over here, we have the long form idea list. So whenever I have an idea for my newsletter or my YouTube channel, I'll click add new, I type it in and then let's say, um, you know, I, ha I, put, I put my guide of how to learn Notion into here, I'm just going to click OK to use that idea and it'll make it disappear. Now on the top, we have some additional pages that I just threw in because you kind of need this information to create content as well. So it's just nice to have it all in this one page. So over here on the left, we have your strategy page. So here is where you can actually list out your content pillars, the topics of your content right on the top. You can type in your mission statement. You can type in what, what's working for you within your social media strategy, with your YouTube channel, like all the things. You could just flesh that out. What's going well? What are you enjoying? And then what is it, right? Just so you can come back and reflect and refine and make your process and strategy better for you. 
Next down here, we have a competitor analysis, if you want to call it competitor, or really just for me, I like to, I have like content creators and pages that I really admire that are not even in my niche. And so what I'll do is actually list those people out, just like my favorite content creators, links to their pages or a link to certain videos and just kind of notes of, you know, I really like the style of this. I really like the vibe of this. I really like how they shoot, you know, and let me try to imitate those, you know, ideas or whatever for my own content. All right. So then the next page over is just a hashtag and SEO library. Again, we're just trying to make things really easy for you when you are posting. So just to have a place where you have your hashtags written out or you could just copy and paste them into your YouTube, you know, description or obviously into your short form description uh, captions. And then you can have also your main keywords and search terms. If you do any of that kind of research for yourself of what kind of keywords you want to be using, um, you can keep all that here, flesh that out here. Next, we have an analytics page. So I included um, each month out of the year. And then if you want to keep going into next year for 2025, you can just click, like if I wanted to duplicate this for January, I'll just click here, click duplicate. And then maybe I'll just drag it down here and I'll open this up and just change it up to 2025. But anyway, so once you click on open one of the months, you just have your top performing posts, worst performing posts, any additional highlights, overall notes or things that you're thinking about, and then just tracking some of your basic analytics, like your follower growth, your reach, your engagement. This helps me to when working with brands a lot of the times that I can have easy access to this information. But I also just like to see it because sometimes I like to see you know, where was my follower count in the beginning of the year and where am I now? And, you know, how's my engagement doing? And then I also really like to, I actually really like to focus on my top performing posts, not so much worse performing, but top performing and try to repeat and reiterate what is working really well for my content. So that's why I included that here with analytics. And then we have a goals page, really simple database of just like, what are your goals? Like, do you have a goal of hitting 100,000 followers or do you just have a goal of, you know, I want to post two times per week? It's just nice to like flesh that out and write that out and then come here, you know, once a quarter and just see like where are you, where are you in that, um, with that goal. And then if you want to really flush out, flesh out the goal, you can open any goal that you want and then just type in like the steps that you want to take to get there. Okay, and then finally, we just have a simple branding page that you can always refer back to. So your brand's mission statement, your brand's tone of voice, and then you can add in your pictures of your main logos, logo variations, color palettes, all that kind of stuff. So if you're creating graphics, whatever, again, it's this is the idea here is just to have it all in one place for your brand or your content. All right, so there you have it. That's the full tour. I hope that this Notion social media content planner really helps you stay stress-free when planning and creating your content. When you have a system like this, you're just 100 times more likely to post three, four, five times per week, which is really just going to make all the difference in the world. The number one reason that clients hire me as a social media manager is because they always 90% of the time tell me it's because they just can't stay consistent. They're too busy with their lives and running their businesses. How are they supposed to post so to social media? And they know that they have to post to social media or it's great to post to social media for the growth of their brand and their business. And I think a lot of the times it's like, you just need to be organized like this. And as a new mom, I am really busy myself. I am managing clients. I am really tired. And like I said, I've been more consistent on social media after having a baby than I ever was before. So I really have notion to thank for, the, for that and this kind of organizational system. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you're interested in getting this template, it's linked in my stand store. I will link that in the description, but otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.